Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. So welcome to this quick Bitcoin price update. We're gonna start straight here in the one hour time frame for Bitcoin because we are forming right now this symmetrical triangle and we are waiting for the breakout. So in my opinion, this could be a potential continuation pattern that could break out to the upside. And if we're gonna do a measurement and let's see where this potential breakout could take us, let's assume that we're gonna break out in the next coming hours so we're gonna have a breakout target of around $42,000 and in my opinion that's very likely to be reached before we eventually are coming down to retest this $37,000 level that still need to be tested in order to confirm that we have this previous resistance trend line now acting as a new support because it was in the past a very strong resistance and therefore we should in theory come down to retest it and confirm that this is now new support and also why I still expect that latest once we're testing this potential $42,000 resistance we're maybe coming down first to test $37,000 and then head higher is because we have still this sell signal in the four hour time frame of course it's very bullish whenever we are getting a sell signal and we just go sideways and consolidate instead of having a dump but a test of this trend line, in my opinion, would be very healthy and would also confirm that this breakout here to the upside is legit and that we're gonna see here a nice relief rally way above $42,000. So let's wait and see where we're gonna break out from this symmetrical triangle in the one hour time frame. If it's going to be to the downside, of course, this will take us down towards $37,000 to finally test this support trend line and of course, also retest the bottom of the EMA ribbons which in my opinion is also very likely to come here in the not so distant future because in the lower time frames we are looking a bit exhausted but uh, overall I'm still remain bullish that afterwards if we are getting such a test of this $37,000 area that we definitely are going to continue to go higher because we are having right now also in the lower time frames positive money flow here in the four hour and also in the one hour time frame and as long as we have positive money flow, I still remain optimistic that we are definitely in an uptrend here in the lower time frames. And it's just a matter of time until we are getting that relief rally up to $48,000 and potentially even continue our bull run. And for the daily time frame for today, it's important that we are able to close above $37,000. So even if we would see here a breakout to the downside from the symmetrical triangle, we have to close at least above $37,000. That should be enough here for Bitcoin. And if we go over into the Ethereum price action, also here you can see that we are getting some problems to push here above the EMA ribbons. Currently we're getting resistance here at $2,700. And also in the lower time frames, like the four hour you can see that we are getting right now a sell signal which is already confirmed so also here there is a high chance that we maybe could see another leg down towards two thousand four hundred dollars but overall also here for ethereum i'm expecting that we very soon are going to test here this two thousand eight hundred dollars resistance where also the 200 moving average is lining up in the four hour time frame and afterwards we can head again towards this three thousand four hundred to three thousand eight hundred dollars price target so even though in the lower time frames we are looking a bit exhausted and we could maybe have another $2,400 retest, I also still remain optimistic here for Ethereum that very soon we are able to trade again above $2,800. And now we can also have a quick look into NASDAQ because NASDAQ right now is getting a pullback after this new all time high that we created yesterday. But the important thing is that we are able to continue to close daily candles above the nine daily moving average currently here at around $13,800 because then we should expect big explosive moves to the upside incoming very soon. Because usually during an uptrend, the nine daily moving average is always a very strong support for NASDAQ. And also today we are coming down to test this $14,000 support that previously was strong resistance. So also here for NASDAQ, it's healthy if today we can maintain the price above $14,000. In that case, we are confirming that the previous strong resistance is now new support. 
and for the dxy currently we're still getting rejected here at this resistance trend line and i still expect that in the next coming days we're gonna see again the dxy getting heavily rejected here because also in the daily time frame we are looking a bit exhausted it's just a matter of time until we're getting here a sell signal and once this one is confirmed we're gonna definitely crash down again in the dxy because we still have negative money flow here and that of course will be very much in favor for the crypto market and of course also for the stock market so with this quick update my friends are gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos and check out all the links that you find in my video description because all of them will give you some extra money if you sign up with my link especially this one here for bitscap here with my link you get the pro plan for 14 days for free here you can run trading bots on your exchanges and if after 14 days you're profitable you can upgrade to a month monthly plan which is starting for only $19 a month and of course if you want to trade yourself Bitcoin and other cryptos Bybit and Femix are the exchanges that I'm also using and I mostly recommend also because with my links you will get some extra money so you can do some free trades and make sure also to join our great discord trading chat the link is also in the video description so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye